Question number nine. Two aeroplanes leave the same airport, which would be here. One flies a distance of 550 kilometres on a bearing of 0, 0.75 degrees. So that's this angle here. And the other flies 630 kilometres from here to here on a bearing of 110 degrees, which is the angle represented here. How far apart are the planes? So we want to know the distance between the planes from here to here. With the information we're given, we should recognise that this makes a triangle shape and that this is going to be a trig question. We are asked to work out the distance from here to here, which will be the length of one of the sides of the triangle. We'll make the triangle a little clearer to see by filling in each of the sides here in blue. So we have a triangle, we know it's a trig question, we know two of the sides and currently on the diagram we don't have any of the angles. We were however given the bearing of both of the planes, we should remember that bearings are always measured clockwise from north. So the first plane had a bearing of 0, 0.75 degrees which would be this one here. And our second plane had a bearing of 110 degrees, which is this one here. What that allows us to work out now is the angle here inside our triangle. It will be the difference between the red one, 110, and the black one, 75, which gives us an angle inside the triangle of 35 degrees. So what we have now is a triangle where we know two of the sides, 550 and 630, and we also know the angle between them, 35 degrees. So that then is enough information for us to recognise, hopefully, that this is the cosine rule. So the cosine rule, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 times bc multiplied by cos of the angle a. So what we're trying to find is this side here, okay, so A is the subject of our formula, which means we'll make this one side A. That means that the angle across from that side will be angle A. Then the other two, it doesn't really matter which one is which, so we'll make this one B, which means this is angle B opposite, and we'll make this side C, which means that this is angle C opposite. Remembering that sides uh, are represented with lowercase letters and angles with uppercase letters. If we then substitute the values we have into our formula, so first of all we'll write down a squared again. We have a b squared first of all, which is 630 squared, plus c squared, which is 550 squared, and that's minus 2 times b, which is 630, multiplied by c, which is 550, multiplied by cos of a, which is cos of 35 degrees. So if we carefully now key this into our calculator, we get our next line for a squared. Our answer here, which is 1317 two seven point and then we have a six and then some more decimal places. We won't actually write them down at this stage but we'll just leave them represented by the little dots. Our answer for A will be found by square rooting the number above. So we won't clear a calculator screen to do that, we'll just press the square root button. If we do that we then get an answer for A which we now will round to one decimal place. So A is equal to 362.9 kilometres. And that's, as we said, correct to one decimal place. That's the distance between the two planes. So that is the end of the question.